gentlemen, here we are at the pro section of our card. Mark Ewan fighting out of the red corner, the red trunks representing higher level out of Scotland, taking on Aspire MMA Combat Academy's Tom Mullen in the white shorts out of the blue corner. And oh my God, I'm looking forward to this. Yeah, you had to get the one, that one out quick there, Steve, because like, yesterday's weigh-in, that's to go at anything to go off. This one's going to be a banger of a fight. Absolutely, neither man willing to look away. There was, it wasn't arrogance, it was just neither man willing to give that inch, and I imagine that's what we're going to see in this fight. That's it, and we've, we've not seen the Mullins uh, compete in a couple of years, obviously due to COVID, pandemics, all that kind of stuff. They've now found a new home at Aspire in Liverpool, and uh, yeah, I'm excited for this one, Steve. Very, very excited. The uh, Tom Mullen had a big amateur career, fought on Almighty a couple of times, a lovely jab cross there. Mark Ewan, though, an amazing fighter from an amazing gym, Steve. Absolutely. It, not much he hasn't seen. Very smooth. And again, great court. From a great, both fighters from great camps. That's it, yeah. But neither, nope. neither of them going to be spoiled for training partners or coaches. No, that's it. And both guys looking slick with their strike. And uh, Ewan looking to work to the body a little bit more than, uh, than Tom is. We've got the red mark on the belly of, uh, of Tom at the moment. Both guys looking so composed and slick yeah. right now with their strike, and I love it. And they're, again, two, you know, very young in their pro career fighters, you know, one fight each. One fight each, but potentially superstars here, Steve. Could very well be. We've got Tom controlling the cage. It's it. You know, it's tit for tat right now. Are you, are you surprised at... Are you surprised at the pace of the fight? Did you think they might come out a little bit quicker, or are these guys too wise for that? No, I think I think they're very smart fighters. I've seen I've, I've seen them both compete before, and you know nothing was too out of the gate. And now we are in these pro ranks. That's what you expect to see. Yeah. You do expect to see a little bit, you know, a little bit more uh, control of your own pace. And they both trade shots in the center of the cage. Just as I say that, Steve. Yeah, blinked and you miss it. You look at the damage just already to the inside and outside left thigh. I said the last time uh, the last time I saw Tom Mullen compete he won via head kick knockout followed by a, a brutal bit of ground and pound. Oh. So we know he's got that finishing power and he jumps into the double leg. We've got some blood coming out of the nose of Mark Ewan now. Yeah that would have been after that really lovely crisp right hand straight down the pipe thrown by Mullen just seconds earlier. That's it and for those not aware of the pro rules, we've got elbows to the head, knees to the head, smaller gloves, five minute rounds. These yeah. are, this is the big boy, Steve. Sorry, I was sitting there, I'm looking at Ewan and it looked like he was really having a hard time breathing. So he's breathing with his mouth wide open. I'm wondering if any damage has been done to that nose. That's it, well, we've got a really bloody nose, so it possibly could be broken. Um, like I said, it was, it was all... It was like watching me, it was our mouth breathing. And that is a lot of blood all over the body of Tom Mullen there. Tom looks for the for the elbow off the break. Nice. And he has done a lot of damage to that nose, Steve. Yeah, that's what I thought, did it? Looks for the hook and the turn off there. Doesn't look like Ewan's too faced by it though, but these shots are coming in and What they're both doing really well is what we were saying earlier about faking and fainting into strikes. They're throwing three, four, five fakes to land that one good shot. It's perfect. It's lovely to watch. Nice check there and a trading of a right hand there. Mark Ewan comes off the better one there. So it's Ewan that's bloodied up. But if you look at the look at the legs and the body. Yeah, there's been damage. There's not one part of the body that's been left out tonight so far. And another right hand from Ewan. Looks for the left hook. Pressures Tom up against the Ooh, cage. Tom looks for the shot. Yeah, I thought he kind of slipped as he was trying to push off there. But yeah. Ewan now with the head, trying to use that head position and maybe, maybe set up the elbow. But What well, Ewan did well there was to, to make Tom have to shoot. He was pressuring him round, got him to stumble up against the cage. You know, that kind of puts that little bit of panic in your head to, you know, get away from the cage. And one way of doing that is to jump in on the double leg. So Absolutely. We've got Mark Ewan. Has Tom Mullen up against the cage right now. Some nice head control. Looks for a couple of little shots. And with these pro MMA gloves on, you don't need to put too much yeah, into the shots. 
for them to cause damage. That's right. Oh, I looked for the elbow, the uppercut, the elbow, and thought he had staggered Molinera, but no, and a he heavy leg kick. You would have thought that that nose has a big old side sand hit here. Yeah, 100%. But the... Uh, the hand movement of Tom and the head movement as well is causing a lot of issues for Mark to actually land a big shot. They, they both landed some good shots here tonight. Um, that first round was fantastic, Steve. Well, excellent. I mean... I'll watch two more rounds of that any day. I'm so... I can't, uh, hopefully the cut man can stop the bleeding. And Yeah, I'm intrigued to know how bad that damage is to the nose. Yeah, is it just superficial or... But it looked to me like... It looked to me like he was having a real hard time breathing through it. It was yeah. very wide mouth up against the cage. You've got one of the top coaches in the country. Well, in the United Kingdom, should I say, yeah. Steve. James Doolan. Oh, yeah, again. And then if you look over in the Aspire corner, you can't... We are not short of top, top-level coaches in, in the UK. We, yeah. we have some of the best in the world, without question. And when, when we get to this pro, you know, the pro section of the card, you usually have a couple of the up-and-comers of the pros, but this is a high-level pro fight for, for two guys who've only had one pro fight, that, Steve. That's it. I mean, these are two, two, two UK prospects for sure. Yeah, when this fight match, when this matchup got announced, it was definitely mouth-watering for the hardcore UK MMA fans. Both guys looking to, to bait their, their opponent into leaning forward into these shots. Get the head moving. Lovely inside leg kick again there from Mark Ewan. Looks for the lead up cut, does Mullen. Just these intricate little details of the steps that they're using to get the shots or the steps they're doing off their shots or the fakes before. It's, it's lovely to watch. And it doesn't look, at the moment, it's, it's still that really 50-50. Neither fighter is really in the ascendancy yet. Yeah, we've had some big shots landed so far, but nothing too, you know, detrimental yeah. to the fight. Yeah, and, and big shots from both. Oh, lovely, lovely cross, cross. there. Jinx. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh and lovely that, jab. Just as he moved in. Yeah, and it, it didn't. It wasn't a power. It wasn't throwing a lot on it. Enough to snap back the head. But he answers straight away with a lovely left down the middle. So he's eating up the inside leg of Mullen is, uh, is Mark Ewan. Both yeah. guys clearly know the level of fighter that they were coming up against because they look in top shape. Absolutely. And is, I was going to say, is it still worth investing in that leg kick? And yes, it is. So he's, every time Tom looks to strike, Ewan looks to counter. And a stiff jab there every from Ewan. Every time Ewan sort of starts a combination and lands well, James Doolan does his own personal wave in the corners and stands <laughs> up. So he's happy with his fighter's output at the moment. Well, that's, a, that's, a, that's a coach that invests a lot of time into his fighters. It's great to see. Mullen rams him up against the cage, looks for the trip. Doesn't quite get it. Great, great balance from Mark Ewan there. I thought Tom was going to get yeah, it there, and, and, and is that, you know, is that a little bit of a... Is that a bit of a giveaway at the moment? I'm not liking it on. I'm not liking it where we are. I'm not doing what I need to do, so I'm going to try and get in on it. It was certainly a lot of energy expended for nothing. Well, he's ended up with the back up against the cage. Had he had he got it, it would have been a lot of energy. Oh yeah, it would have been perfect. Yeah. Got the higher level MMA fighter. Yeah, Mark Ewan putting on the pressure. And again, chipping away with those knees to the inside thigh. Mullen now turns him. And if you're Mullen, you, I'd, I'd be looking to break up and yeah. strike. As I say that, Mark Ewan gets the turn of his own. And doesn't look interested in breaking off and striking at the moment. See, so he's looking to make it ugly, tire Tom out a little bit. The way they both stand when they strike, they, I think they're talking to each other up against the cage too and they break off back into the center of the cage. That's what Mark Ewan's looking for. He fakes, he looks for a reaction from Tom, then he strikes. Again, still investing in those inside and outside leg kicks. 
It's always worth investing in the legs. Nice one-two there from Tom Just. Oh, Lovely. big right hand from Mark Ewan. Yeah, left to the body, to the chest, and then followed it with that right. Didn't face Tom for a second, though. Yeah, tough as old boots. That's it. These Bradford boys don't play about, Steve. Great <laughs> men. Another inside leg kick. And these guys have put on a hefty pace for us here over the first 10 minutes. They haven't been looking to, to sort of see this one through. No, no guy. I think, the, like, we, like we said in the last round, I think they know the level of the fight they're up against. They've come prepared, ready for battle for three five-minute rounds. A nice left hook, right hand. Yeah, Tom that, does just enough to get out of the way. Yeah, he had lovely head movement, duck under the big hook for the third shot that didn't land. You and oh, another in stinging. Oh, and they trade shots again. Another right hand from Mark Ewan. That and one I, hurt Tom, but again, he's in the fight, Steve. And Ewan staying composed in the firefight, not wasting anything, not... Now he's founding it. Did That's he sink the legs there for a moment? That one landed a bit cleaner than the others, Steve. And another elbow. Oh, and a big elbow from Mark and Ewan. It's over. Mark Ewan with the right elbow to the temple. Drops Mullen. Referee's had enough. I think Mullen's still got some fight in him. But Ewan, lovely. Over the top with that right, right to the temple. Referee jumped in nice and quick. Yeah, Tom's saying he's fine, but referee Phil the freeze. Very yeah. experienced you referee, he knows what he's on about. Why would you argue <laughs> with Phil the freeze? The, uh... There, it might have, been a, might have been a touch early, but you didn't see a whole lot of complaint. You just see the frustration. Mark Ewan. Great finish. Great finish. A wonderful fight, though. I mean, when was the last time Mullen was in the cage? 2019. 2019. Whew. And hopefully we see a more active Tom Mullen now as well. Absolutely. But a great performance from Mark Ewan, moving to 2-0. and Worth the pay-per-view alone, that one, Steve. They in gave my it eyes. all. Yeah. Great fight from two guys that, you know, early in their pro careers, that it's very a, early in their pro a, careers. Such a shame they had to meet now. 1-0 yeah. each. We'll see what the future holds for both fighters, Steve. But it's not, you know, we don't have journeymen to build our pro records up. Let's turn it over to Mr. Seth Khan and he'll make this official. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 